So on this one, we want to do the isosceles triangle one, where we have uh, two points, just like this, and we want to create an isosceles triangle from it. So if I have these two points, if I take a look at these two points, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? And negative three and negative two, right? Then I already found out that that distance is 13. D is 13. I also found out that the midpoint is equal to negative one half and four. So half and four. So I'm thinking that my my drawing isn't isn't up to par. Maybe I should be a little bit better with my drawing. Okay, and so and my midpoint is one half and four right there. So that should be my midpoint. Right? And what I want to do is make an isosceles triangle out of it. The easiest isosceles triangle, even though it doesn't look like a very big isosceles triangle, would be this one where it crosses, you know, if I find this line that's perpendicular, and I see where it crosses on the y-axis, that's going to give me the easiest isosceles triangle, okay? Because then I don't have to find another point on the line. I just have to... I, the, well, I, I have to find a point on the line, but the point's pretty simple. I plug 0 in for x, and I find y, okay? But I have to be able to find this line. But to find this line, I have to find this line. Does that make sense? So I have to be able to find this, the equation of this line so I know the slope. To take that slope and find the perpendicular slope so I can find this line. Once I can find this line, I'll know what the y-intercept is. With the y-intercept, I know what this point is, right? If I know what this point is, I can create the isosceles triangle, okay? So the first thing is to find the slope of that. So the slope comes back to flip it, smack it. Or remember, m is equal to the difference of y or the difference of x, right? Delta y over delta x, or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And what we usually do is just flip it. So we have 10 over 2 and negative 2 over negative 3, and then we smack it, right? And that is our slope. So in this case, m is equal to plus uh, 2, so that's 12, over plus 3, 5. So m is equal to 12 fifths, right? And m parallel would also equal 12 fifths. Any line that's parallel to it would equal 12 fifths. But any line that's perpendicular, right, is going to be negative 5 twelfths. 
because it's going to have the opposite slope. It's going to be rising and running in the opposite way, and it's also good. one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. So if you think about any time you have something perpendicular, right? When it's perpendicular, it doesn't matter how you turn it, the slope is always going to be the opposite rise and run from this guy, okay? And the one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative, okay? All right, and so I have the slope, I need to find B, right? I know the perpendicular slope, so now all I have to do is find B. In our goddess equation, Y equals MX plus B, right? And so I choose one of these. I like choosing one that doesn't have negatives. It's just easier to deal with. So Y in this case is 10. M is negative 5 twelfths. X is 2. And B, well, we don't know B. That's the whole reason why we're doing it. Okay? So I've got negative 10 over 12 plus B equals 10, right? And so what I'm going to do is add 10 twelfths to both sides. And I get 10 and 10 twelfths equals B. So I have B, I have M, right? So I know what the equation is, but more importantly, I know what the intercept is. So the point I need is your B, 10 and 10 twelfths, and the X That's not B. Nice, 10, 2, negative 10 over 12. Add 10, 12 is 10. That can't be B. B has to be. Did we do that right? 10 over 2, negative 2 over 3, plus is 12, plus is 5. That'd be negative 5 twelfths. Oh! Yeah, no, yeah, 5 twelfths, and then we multiplied it by 2. What the heck is going on here? That can't be B. That would put B up here. What did I do? Oops, I found this one. So it is perpendicular, but I used the wrong point. I need to use the midpoint, right? So I'm like, wait a minute, this makes no sense. This is going way up here. How, how is that going to work for me, right? And then I'm like, oh, duh. I need to use the actual midpoint. I still have the same slope, right? It'll still have the same slope, but I gotta use the correct point. So instead of using this point, I want to use duh, the reason why we did the midpoint to begin with, this point, right? And so I've got to plug in, so it's not gonna be this. It's we're looking for this guy, because in order for this to be an isosceles triangle, I have to use that middle point. So y equals mx plus b, and y is 4. And M is negative 4, 5 twelfths. And X is 1 half negative plus B. And so in this case, there are two negatives make a positive. So it's 5 24ths plus B is equal to 4, right? And so now when I subtract 5 24ths from both sides, then that's going to leave 3 and 5 less than 24, so 19, 24. And so this point right here 
is going to be 3 and 1924, so it's really close to 4, but not quite, right? 3 and 1924s, right? And that's going to be your, your y value, so your x is going to be 0. 0 and 3 and 1924s. And that way, does that make better sense? Sorry about that. And that way, so know this, yes, this, and we're good.